You're in my backyard looking at an ambient weather WS-2902D weather station. At least this is the outdoor unit. We have a wind direction indicator, a cup anemometer to measure wind speed. There is a light sensor here from which they gather the uh, irradiance on the surface of the earth measured in watts per square meter and also an indication of the UV danger. There is here a uh, solar cell. It uses both the solar cell and batteries for power. It's the rain cup here, which collects rain for the rain gauge. And inside this housing is a thermometer and a hygrometer. I mounted it here to a pole. I was not able to find the one and a quarter to two inch poles that they recommend. Um, so what I did is I took a one inch pole that's usually sold for um, bird houses, like a blue bird house, a mount for that. And then I took a pad, silicon pad I think, it's rubbery material, and uh, wrapped it around and bound it down with Gorilla Tape. And so the clamp went on that very nicely. The entire thing is supposed to be leveled so that you get accurate rain measurements. And uh, this is leveled. There's a bulb level here. Also this arm that has the rain cup on it is supposed to aim to the north. And I was able to do that as well. Data from the outdoor unit are sent here to this display console. The display console is what connects to your home network to provide that data to the ambientweather.net website where you can view this same data. Um, I didn't mention a barometer outside, and that's because the barometer is actually integrated into the display console here. So what we have upper left is the wind speed and wind direction so the wind is 1.8 miles an hour out of the west these units can be changed rainfall right now it's showing daily it will show weekly monthly and for an event and also the rain rate it's been dry the last couple of days the indoor and outdoor temperatures and relative humidities this is where the hygrometer comes in the UV intensity and the light intensity, all from that one light meter that I showed. The forecast, um, it's showing that the moon is relatively dark, so it has the moon phases here in this panel. And clock, it's 2.08 p.m. Uh, very unfortunately, we're still on daylight saving time. We haven't gotten rid of that yet. The date is the 24th of July, which is a Thursday, and we do have a signal being transmitted both from the outdoors unit and uh, connected to Wi-Fi here inside. Now, if you don't like those units, you can change them, and this page in your uh, operations manual explains how to do that. You start by holding down the set button by two seconds and then pressing the set moves you through different displays. So if I wanted to change the pressure units from inches of mercury to uh, millimeters of mercury or hectopascals, that's a typo there, it should be HPA and rather than HAP, then I would press the wind plus button on the display console until it came up as I chose and then continue pressing set until I get out of the set mode again. Now you can also calibrate the, some of these instruments. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to calibrate the barometer, you would want to go to a local official weather station. I'm looking at my local airport's National Weather Service page here. And um, what I would use is the sea level pressure in millibars and adjust the absolute pressure up or down by the difference between that sea level millibar pressure and what my sensor is reading on my display console. Now, um, you have to also do the conversion if you have the units set in inches of mercury as shown here. But it's not very hard and there are numerous web pages that would help you there. Um, one thing I've noticed is that my local television station 
when it reports the local barometric pressure at the airport is showing the altimeter. At least it seems that way to me. It's much higher. So 1021 is 30.15 inches of mercury, but my television station would report 30.23. When I first noticed that, I thought I had an issue and I needed to calibrate the sensor, but um, Actually, what I'm showing on my display console is the relative pressure relative to sea level. So the 1021 number is right, and that's 30.15. I think we saw a 30.13 downstairs. That's pretty close. I mentioned earlier that the display console is not the only way to view the information from your weather station. You can also go out to ambientweather.net, type in your location, or use the ambient weather app. Um, here I'm looking at my weather station's data in the tiles format. We can also do graphs and tables. So outdoor temperature 88.5, wind is now out of the east at 1.3 miles an hour, no rainfall, barometric pressure is 30.12, which compares fairly well with the 30.15 that we saw a moment ago from a uh, airport that's at least 10 miles away and that measurement was from half an hour ago. So that's not far off. Relative humidity, UV index, solar radiation, indoor temperature and humidity, status of your batteries. The display console takes three AAA batteries, I believe. The outdoor unit takes two AA batteries and the forecast. So, um, we can look at this information with graphs and tables as well. I have an older phone, so it may take a moment to come up. I don't use the phone very often, so it's okay that I have an old one. So here's the feels like temperature, the outdoor temperature in blue, and the dew point in blue and green. Uh, wind gusts and speed. This is over about a 12 hour period, I believe. The wind speed, interesting at night, the wind dies to almost nothing. So how, whichever direction the weather vane was pointing determines that, uh, that direction through the nighttime hours. That's why it flat lines, it flat lines through here. Um, relative pressure and so forth. Solar radiation dip at night, rising again through the day. If we go back up here and we choose these bars, the data can also be displayed in these tabular summaries. So this is for the period 23 through 24 July. It's a summary. And then I can see details down below for 23 to 24 separately. 23, January, July, 24, July. And the different things, different column headings. With that, I will close the video. Thank you very much for watching.